Black Knight 2000 CPU came in, had corrosion damage. It wasn't too pervasive. Uh, fortunately, it didn't get up into this area, which is a booger to fix. But it did leak down onto um, three of the PIAs. One of them I could salvage. The other two I had to replace. And that was pretty much it with this board. So let's fire it up. Uh, oh, also a uh, display was sent along with it. And the display has quite a bit of corrosion on it also. This display kind of works. I don't think it's worth salvaging because the, the back of the board looks pretty bad. Well, let's fire it up. And uh, fired up normally. LEDs are doing what they're supposed to. Lamp matrix is firing. Um, it thinks there's a switch error, which there would be because they don't have it in a real game. <clears throat> but everything tests normally. So let's uh, enter diagnostics. All good. Yeah, so that's why it's saying there's a switch error. Normal stuff. Okay, music test. And all this sound comes from the soundboard, which I have connected here. So you can see that the CPU is commanding the correct sounds to the soundboard. And here's display test. You can see segments there lighting in sympathy and one of them is just dead on the top display that's probably due to the corrosion issue there's another segment that's marginal on the bottom display generally it kind of works but uh again it's not worth repairing this thing next test is sound you test So that shows you that all the sounds are being generated correctly on the CPU board itself. Lamp matrix is perfectly operational. I'll go to a single lamp test here and hold down the credit button. And it runs through each of the lamps, one after the other. That's working properly. Next test is coil test. Here's one, one A, two, two A. <sighs> seven, seven C, sorry, eight, eight C. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ten was so bright because I have a blue LED for when I'm testing data yeast boards. Oh, didn't hook up the special solenoids connector. Let's get that connected over here and then wait for it to get through here. But while, uh, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to rake the input switches to the special solenoids. One, two, three, four, five, six. So those are all the switch inputs for the special solenoids. All working. Next test is switch levels. It's going to tell me I have 11 and 12 closed and 2. <clears throat> 2 is closed because the C side on Black Knight 2000 requires switch 2 to be seen as closed, which is an opto coupler on the interface board. So here's everything in column 1, and here's everything in row 1. So this thing is, uh, the switches are all working. And I'm going to pass the motor bank test. And rebooting normally. Only the coin lockout coil is turned on and the lamp matrix is operating properly. So this board set is uh, working properly. Thank you very much.